If anybody knows Davy Martindale, Alan McCoist, or any of the Seth Conans, tag them in this video because they're going to hate it. They're absolutely going to hate it. I've got fantastic news that's coming out about Celtic this afternoon. But first of all, there's some crazy news coming from down south. West Ham should be banging the door down this summer for Ange Postacoglu. I'll go through that. But the great news is Celtic are getting ready to give Ange Postacoglu a new deal. A new long-term deal at that. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But first of all, we need to really talk about this West Ham thing. But several clubs have spoken about trying to tap up and it's supposed to coggle the Celtic manager and they've failed dramatically, but a gushing dossier on Ange Postacoglu should have West Ham banging, banging it says, Celtic's door down for their manager this summer. West Ham will head down under this summer on a pre-season tour and ironically it's Celtic's Australian boss Ange Postacoglu who could be the man to take the Hammers to the next level, this Hammers news site says. David Moyes is under huge pressure at West Ham facing the very real threat of relegation from the Premier League. Meanwhile, his old club Celtic have been transformed under Ange Postacoglu and they're crushing to another, cruising to another Scottish title and they're crushing everyone in there. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is brilliant. West Ham owners uh, have stood behind Moyes uh, despite their dismal domestic form. It goes on to say, one and a half the teams in the Premier League have changed managers. Moyes has somehow survived despite West Ham having just 15 wins in the last 53 top flight. Why would I just post a Coglu go to West Ham? Whoever's writing, who's writing this? Let's see if we could find out who's writing it. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. Anyway, they're basically saying that um, they should be banging down West Celtic's door. Um, it goes on to say, Ange Postacoglu's Celtic style of play, which resembles the best teams and coaches in the world, such as Pep's City, Arteas, Arsenal, and Brighton. Are Brighton playing good football? I don't know. Anyway, uh, his Celtic team have inverted fullbacks, flawless positional play, counter press relentlessly. Celtic are very much a possession based team who look to work out from the back. It goes on to say, in their 4 3 3 shape. So, Ange is on the ball, structure is nothing short of flawless counter -pe and yet they're really just talking about and they're basically saying that West Ham should, yes, Celtic are a massive club, so West Ham may be hard pressed to convince him to leave. And on that note, there's, I'm going to put you hammers under the hammer and say, that is not sold to you in a way, that's a certainty, because Ange Postacoglu, it's been said today, Celtic are getting ready. Get ready for this, Celtic fans. Celtic are getting ready to offer the Celtic manager a huge contract offer, it says. Huge. Football Insider are reporting that it's a huge contract offer for Ange Postacoglu. The manager has won three trophies so far during his tenure and is on course to retain the Scottish Premiership in ahead of rivals Sevco. Currently nine points clear at the top of the table. This guy, Wayne Vesley, says is he's heard from Parkhead in the last 48 hours regarding Postacoglu. He stated that the Hoops want to tie the manager down on a new long-term deal after recent interest from the Premier League. Celtic are ready to increase the wages of Andrew Postacoglu, the source said, and knowledge of the situation will reveal shortly... Celtic are preparing a huge offer which may include a release clause. Well, that's not what we really want to hear. But if the release clause is 20 or 30 million, I think we would have to seriously consider that as a club. And I think Ange would leave us in good stead. But the fact that the club are now looking to tie him down, the 12 month rolling contract will be ripped up. This summer, and a new long term deal with Ange Postacoglu. And people, and you have to remember, Celtic fans, Ange Postacoglu did say that people will be surprised how long he's at Celtic. Celtic appear to be doing everything they can to keep Postacoglu when it comes to the current squad, working with um, hard to keep Kyogo, Furiashi, Leela Bada, Jota, players who Postacoglu believes are key to him. And then it goes on to say that Celtic are planning three. Headline signings this summer. Postacoglu is looking to target a new centre back, a new central midfield player, and a new striker. Therefore, the manager and club officials remain on the same page reading into the summer. I like to think that a new long term contract can be agreed upon over the coming months. 
which may be the most important piece of business that Celtic FC do this summer. Happy days. Sunday morning, up with a lark. <laughs> Saves clothes running about in the dark. <laughs> so tell me your thoughts on that, Celtic fans. It's the breaking news this afternoon. Ange Postacoglu will be offered a new long-term deal at Celtic in the next couple of months, and it will probably be sooner rather than later. These, ty- these kind of things do tend to get tied up during international breaks because it, it obviously gives the manager some free time to meet up with the board, etc., when there isn't a lot of football things going on. And it is when these things are spoken about. And I think there will have been a gentleman's agreement. The handshake will have been done already. It will just come down to exactly what kind of deal it is on offer for Big Ange. <sighs> if that's not made you feel better this Sunday afternoon, I don't know, know which will, what will. It's fantastic news. The Hammers page, that was released this morning. The Gunners are obviously... Uh, the the uh, they're certainly not the Gunners, West Ham. West Ham are obviously thinking about trying to get a new manager this summer and they are champ- want to champ down the door, but there's no chance that he'll be going to West Ham to play in the London Stadium. He is going to be playing, he's going to be managing, should I say, Celtic for the next foreseeable future. So on that note, we David Martindale, you'll be burying your head in the sand. Fat boys, <laughs> he's a bit hating this. Let's roll up to the